So it's time for another Amorphophallus to go to sleep. So this is Amorphophallus konjac, and this is about, um, it's only been in my care for about a year from a tiny little tube, probably a few centimeters across. And it's got actually three growths have come out. Um, one's gone down completely, as you can see. That's gonna come out in a minute. And there's a tiny baby one there and the main, the main one that's been growing all year. So I'm gonna unpot this one and see what we've got. And we'll see if we've got any tubers um, that we can save to, to propagate for next year. Um, so let's dive right in. So the first thing to notice then is that, that it started to go down. We normally wait till it fully goes down, but it's it's ideal timing now. We're about to have a frost in the UK. Um, it's just before Halloween, so it's the 29th uh, of October. Um, this has literally come out in my hands. And if you see the end there, you can see where, let's just let it zoom in. You can see where the growth underneath was going inside. So it was well ready to come off. Um, the, the leaves just start to turn and then the petiole breaks, you know, it basically droops and then it, um, you know, it starts to, it basically comes out of the ground free. I mean, you can give these a little tug as well and see if they're ready. And if they are ready, they should come out really, really easily. If they're not, it'd be like this, which is a, a little bit tougher. Um, so we'll leave that one in for now. Um, and I'll, I'll unpot it and see what state it's in. I, I might even leave it a little bit longer. Um, so I might I might repot it back up if that's not looking like it wants to come out. But let's just grab it and tip it out, and we'll see what what it looks like. So it's a bit difficult one-handed, as you've probably seen me doing before. So we'll one one side of the, the cloth. I'll tip all of the gravel. So I always do like a layer of gravel on, on the top, um, mainly just for looks more than anything. And you can see there already. It's, you know that's. It's looking quite healthy down there, uh, no issues. And it looks like these two are coming out of one part of the of the tuber. So they're not two separate ones at all. So that would mean that's definitely only one tuber there. So let's carry on tipping out and see what it looks like. And around here, we'll just roll it around a bit, give it a little squeeze to loosen it. I'm taking my time with this one. Don't want to damage it. Um, it would be better if I did it two hands, obviously. Um, but it's uh, it's more important to get the camera to show you what's happening. So I'm just loosening it up. This one isn't going to be as big as the recent ones we've done. You remember we did the uh, Sauromatum venosum recently, and that was absolutely huge and full of, of tubers. Um, but this shouldn't be anywhere near as full as that. So um, there's a lot more soil in this than, than the, the, there is with the Sauromatum. I remember with the Sauromatum we had... Um, a lot more gravel in it so i seem to have for some reason potted this with a lot more soil and um, straight away there that looks like a tuber i don't know whether you can see it but it's actually still attached so what i want to do is try and get it out and show it you attached so if i try and just gently pull the whole assembly out this might be an idea let me put the phone down for a second and then you once i've slid it out you can have a look Okay, so I've just slid the pot off and that does now look a little bit easier. So let me just go in and we'll slowly, slowly work around it and see what we've got. So I would normally do this a lot faster, but I'm doing this so you can see what we've got. So the first thing to notice here is that the root mass was all the way down and all the way to the bottom. So that's a good sign. It's healthy, it's growing, it's filling that pot. Um, I wouldn't really need to give it anything bigger than that pot this next year. It's, it's not grown too big. Um, so we'll start slowly moving stuff away so we can see and if anything breaks oh there you go I was going to say if any, anything breaks off we'll we'll spot it so that is one of the first tubers that we've got so that one it was basically sticking out here on this long bit here so it was a quite stolonific and um, so it was coming out on this long stalk here and that becomes one so we'll put that over here that's our first one that we found so I'll slowly bring these away. You can see the roots, uh, the fibrous roots here, um, all around it. So if I dig around that, um, what's that? Is that a small one or is that a stone? No, that's a stone. So basically you're giving it a feel to see if there's any um, extra tubers in there that you might have missed. Actually, it is quite gravelly here. I said at the start it wasn't as gravelly, but I think it's just at the top I hadn't, I hadn't really done much in the way of gravel. So 
If I, oh, there's another one there. I'll try and leave it on and see if I can lift this mass out and pull it to one side for you and show you this way, like this. So we'll check through all of this quickly. So again, I'm having a quick look for any of those rogue little tiny offsets. Not seeing anything in there particularly like an offset at the moment. So we'll just push that to one side and we'll push that away there from the soil, there from the gravel. And then we'll go and have a look what we've got. So again, I could just pull this one away, but I won't. I'll just have a look and see if I can see around it first of all, like so. And then there's this big mass here, which is just soil still. So we'll roll that around. It's actually way, way bigger than I expected. So this is probably about, I don't know, maybe eight, 10 centimeters across this time. And bear in mind, it was smaller than this when it started. Um, so that's just one season um, and being fed quite heavily. So it's, you know, it, it shows that the root system shows it's healthy, it actually smells absolutely fine just smells you know like soil mossy and peaty which is what you want you don't want it to smell of any rot or anything like that um let's keep scooping the soil away and rolling it around so move all of that soil away now and we're nearly there with this so i'm just going to dig through this side to see if there's any more so as i predicted not not a huge amount of uh, additional um offsets have been created but not, I wasn't particularly after that anyway. Um, I wasn't thinking that it would make that many uh, additional ones in, in its first year. Might be another one deep in here, although I doubt it. I'm going to pull this root system off here. Doesn't do any damage to it at all because um, this is going to get dry stored anyway, as as with all my other tubers. Um, so roots are away there. Roots are away from the top. And then you can see quite clearly, um, if I just get rid of these last few, oh, it's broke off, unfortunately. But what, what I was trying to show you is this is how they do their offsets, certainly with the Morphophallus conjac. So what's happening there is it grows this little offshoot here. And on the end of that, you get a growth of, of a new bulb, essentially. Then in the ground, in, in nature, that would break off like that. And that would then make a new plant and so on and so on and so on. And that's how they propagate vegetati vegetatively, can't even say it. Um, so that's only, it's only given us two there. So not, not many at all from, from this konjac. Um, so that has actually got, I think that's got a little bit of a bud on the end of it there. You can see that little red bit there so we'll keep that as well there's always the chance that something like that could form into a new plant but um it, you know it, you you are gambling with something like that so i'll just pull these roots away and see what we've got so you can let these roots stay on and dry them if you wish um which is what i do a, a lot of the time certainly with the white fibrous roots for uh, for a lot of arasema and things like that so that's the main tuber, and as I said, I, I've, I have definitely pulled it out a little bit too early because this was still quite healthy. Um, there's no sign of this one breaking away. Now, I am going to break it off, um, but it, it could easily have carried on for a little bit longer. And the reason you carry it on as long as you can is because it, it would then be building up this tuber, and that, that long term would be what I would be, you know, that would be what I'd be really after. But at the moment, um, it's pretty much quite a healthy tuber anyway. So I'm not too worried with, with what's happened. So I'll just break this away and then we'll uh, we'll see what's going on underneath. And you can see there, that's where the new life is going to come from underneath there. And what we'll do is we'll wash this down and then we'll dry it and we'll store it as we do with all of our other tubers. So there you go. We've given them a quick wash. Um, only three. Uh, including the main one, so n not many as predicted. Um, really healthy tuber, um, you know, going from that sort of size to that sort of size in one season is absolutely, you know, what, what we would be looking for. So I will pot this one back up uh, probably in about um, January, maybe February, 
um, and get this one going again. And I'm hoping that this next year, this one will be quite huge. So you can see there underneath, if I can get quite close in, I'm just go zooming right in. That underneath there is the new uh, bud, just the main one coming out. That's what will come out next year. And that will start the whole new Amorphophallus conjac for next year when we start all over again. I hope you liked the video today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell, and we can let you know when we upload new content, which is every week. Thanks for joining us.